Now we are ready to connect your business financial accounts to QuickBooks. This will allow QuickBooks to automatically bring in all of your financial transactions from your different business accounts automatically. And this saves you tons of time each month. It's a really easy process once everything is automatically connected. So we want to bring in any of our separate business financial accounts that we have, whether that's a business checking, business savings, business credit cards, business PayPal. If you have additional business accounts beyond this, try to connect connect those as well. If you don't have all of these types of financial accounts, that's fine too. Just connect whatever business financial accounts that you have to QuickBooks. The way we're going to do this, once you're logged into QuickBooks, on your dashboard, you're going to see this link to connect accounts. Go ahead and click that. Next, you're going to find your financial institutions. So let's say you're starting with checking. Maybe your checking account is one of the popular choices that they show in those rectangles below. If not, simply search for the name of your bank in the rectangle up above. We're going to do this same process for each of your business financial accounts. So pick one to start with. Go all the way through and then go back and do it for all of your accounts until everything is connected. Next, QuickBooks is going to ask you to sign in to your financial account. This gives QuickBooks the access it needs to download the transactions as they occur in your checking account or savings or credit card. You're going to choose what type of financial account it is whether that's checking, savings, credit card. Those are going to be your most likely. For PayPal, select checking. Um, I think everything else is self-explanatory. Your checking account, you're going to select checking, savings, savings, and then just make sure for any credit card type or like accounts that you select that that's a credit card. Um, that's going to matter when we get to our chart of accounts. And then at the top, you'll see that QuickBooks says, will import 90 days of transactions. Do you want a shorter time period? And you can choose what time period you want. So this is what we talked about before, where you need to decide in advance what your start date for your business bookkeeping is going to be and bring in transactions from that date forward. So if you chose a date and it's going to bring in a couple extra transactions. So let's say the date you chose was 80 days ago. But the best way to do that is just to select 90 days on here. That's fine. We can delete those few transactions that might have occurred before like your clean start date for QuickBooks bookkeeping. So just do your best here um, because there are ways that we can either get rid of transactions we don't need or bring in transactions we do, but just take a look at that date you wrote down that you were gonna aim for as your clean bookkeeping start date and then select how much time or how far back you want QuickBooks to import transactions for you. And then once you have all of your accounts linked up, they are going to appear in the bank account section of your dashboard within QuickBooks. And now we're all set to really start diving into QuickBooks. We've got our transactions already brought in and uploaded into QuickBooks and we've connected our accounts and we're ready to get started.